hey welcome to my channel today i'm going to be talking about linear motion where we have two vehicles moving in opposite direction as you can see on the screen we have a car a green car on the left and a bus on the right the car is leaving station a on the left and the bus is leaving station b on the right now as you can see the two towns a and b are 500 kilometers apart then these two vehicles as they're moving towards each other they will apply a certain concept of relative speed so the car is moving to the right to town b and the bus is moving to the left or to town A. Now we have town A written down there, A, and we also have town B. Now these two vehicles are moving with their specific speeds. The car is moving at a specific speed and the bus is also moving at its own speed the speed of the car is 100, kilo 100 kilometers per hour the speed of the bus is 60 kilometers per hour let's say the car started earlier at 10 am so the car we assume here or we just take the car to be starting its journey going to be at 10 a.m. and let the bus leave station B at 10.30 a.m. so as you can see here the car started earlier or is going to start earlier the journey from 10 a.m. and it is going to move to town B at 10.30 that is after 30 minutes the bus will now begin its journey from town B towards A so the car is moving towards B at the same time the bus which is moving at 60 kilometers to is moving to town A okay good let's continue so we have those uh, the two the two vehicles here like our illustration now the bar the car rather the car started its journey at 10 a.m. earlier than the bus and its speed is 100 kilometers per hour. Note here, the bus started at 10.30. The car started at 10 a.m. Meaning, at 10 a.m. the car was moving. So the car moved until it, reached, it reaches 10.30 a.m. That's when now the bus started its journey from B so what we, what are we saying here is or what are we saying we are saying 1030 is the time when the bus left town B and 10 a.m. is the time when the car left town A meaning for those 30 minutes the car had covered a certain distance that is the car in the 30 minutes was already moving and covering a certain distance so as you can see on the illustration there the car at after 30 minutes the car will have covered a distance and it will be somewhere in somewhere between the two towns so um the car in the 30 minutes it will cover a distance we need to calculate that distance covered by the car first before the before the bus started its journey or because the, the, before the bus started or moved away from town b now the distance between the two towns we see it is 500 kilometers but now the car has covered a certain distance in the 30 minutes so we need to find the distance we need to find this distance over here which has been covered by the car before the bus started 
Therefore, we need to calculate this distance. So we come there on top of your screen. We have distance covered by the car before the bus is equal to speed times time. Now, we are talking about the speed here. The speed here is the car. It's for the car. It's the car which was moving earlier or initially. So we take its speed, multiply by the time it took before the bus started, which is the 30 minutes before the bus started. Remember, the car started at 10 a.m. And the bus started 30 minutes later. So we need to find the distance covered in those 30 minutes. So we use the formula speed times time. We see distance covered by the car before the bus is given by speed times time. Therefore, we need to find the time taken by the car to move before the bus started its journey. So the bus started at 10.30. So it means from 10 a.m. to 10.30, there were some 30 minutes which were taken by the car to move. Now, if you calculate the distance, distance covered by the, the car before the bus is given by the speed of the car, 100 kilometers per hour, times the half an hour, which we get 50 kilometers. So, before the bus started its journey at 10.30, the car had covered 50 kilometers before the bus even started its journey. Let's take a look on the diagram. Now, as you can see there, the car is before before the bus started. The car was already already ahead. So for the thirty minutes, for the thirty minutes before before the bus started, the car had covered fifty kilometers, meaning the remaining distance, which now is remaining, is four fifty kilometers. Now at ten thirty. Let's look here on the on the green car. At there's a at ten the car now at ten thirty will be fifty kilometers ahead, and on the right hand side on the bus, the bus is also beginning its journey at ten thirty. So between this point four fifty, both the car and the bus are moving towards each other or in opposite direction. Now because both of them are moving we apply the knowledge or the concept of relative speed. If two vehicles are moving in the same or oppos rather opposite direction, their relative speed is just uh, obtained by adding the two individual speeds. Now the distance between the two is 450 kilometers, meaning both the car and the bus will have to cover 450 kilometers and uh, they will meet somewhere. So for now we are mostly interested with the time taken now for them to meet there. So the distance between them, like we have said, is for 50 kilometers, and both the two will have to cover. So as you can see, at 10 a.m., the bus is moving now towards town A, and uh, at the same time, at that 10:30, the car should have also been moving towards town B. So these two vehicles, from 10.30 a.m., both of them will be moving and they will meet somewhere. So as you can see the diagram on the diagram, after 10.30, the two vehicles will be moving and they will meet somewhere. So on the screen that we have seen, we are actually seeing the bus and the car meeting somewhere. So our, our lesson today or our video today is to find the time taken for the two vehicles to meet. So as you can see, they have met right about there. Now we need to find out what what time did they take to 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 actually meet each other when both of them were moving. We use the formula time taken for them to meet. We take a, we take a look at the distance between the two vehicles. Now the distance which was remaining, which was covered by both of them, that is from 10:30 a.m. Both of them were moving. And the distance between them was 450 kilometers. So the distance between them is 450 kilometers over the relative speed of the two vehicles, which is the speed of the car is 100 plus the speed of the bus, 60. We get 160 kilometers per hour. Now, uh, the time taken for them to meet, when you take 450 divided by 160 kilometers per hour, we obtain 2 hours and 49 minutes. So 
this is the time taken for them to meet don't confuse it with the time they met there's a difference between the time taken for them to meet and the time the two vehicles met time taken to meet is actually two hours and 49 minutes if we want to find the time the exact time where they met we will take this time here we will take this two hours and 49 minutes and add it so as you can see time the time the two vehicles will meet actually the time taken to meet we have seen it is um, two hours and 49 minutes so we are going to add two hours and 49 minutes to the time of the vehicle which started late which is the bus so at 10 30 because whatever we have obtained here the time we have obtained here the time we have obtained here two hours and 49 minutes is the time when both of them were moving and uh, both of them were moving at 10 30 a.m so we'll take two hours and 49 minutes and add to 10 30 a.m right there so when you take 10 30 a.m plus two hours and 49 minutes we get 1 19 p.m so or 13 19 hours this is the time when the two vehicles met now as you can see the car at 10 30 was going towards b and at the same time the bus was also moving towards b and we find that the two vehicles are going to meet at this time 13 19 pm so we have already showed you how to calculate the time taken for two vehicles moving in the opposite direction to meet i hope you are still getting along Another question you can be asked in this situation is you can be asked how far from town A did the two vehicles meet? So the question here is how far from town A did the two vehicles meet? As you can see what you normally do we can you use the time where the two vehicles met. The time is actually there. So the time for them to meet it's 13 19. Now if you are told they find the distance from A where the two vehicles met. Actually, the question right here is uh, find the distance from town A where the two vehicles met. From A, it's the car which started from A. Now you consider the speed of the car and where the car met the bus. So the car met the bus at 13 a.m. And uh, the car, we are talking about the car because it's the car which left A. So the time when the two vehicles met is 13 and 10 and the time where the car started its journey is 10 a.m. so you subtract these two times and then so that you get the time taken for the car to meet the bus so the car we are like for we are we want to find the distance from air where the car met the bus so we will consider the bus is the car rather because the car is starting its journey from air so from 10 a.m. the car moved so the car moved until it catch up with the bus or it met the bus at 10 19. so the car start left uh, at 10 am and it met the bus at 13 19 pm so when you subtract the two we obtain the time taken so we can find that the distance from a will be speed times time let's find the time taken we'll take 13 19. we'll take 13 19 minus 10 am because the car left at 10 am we get 3 and 19 over 60 hours so calculate the distance distance of the car from air we just take the, the speed of the car times the time taken for it to meet the bus we finally obtain 331.7 kilometers so the distance of the car from town a is 331.7 kilometers Okay, thank you for watching my video. I hope the video has really helped you. Keep on subscribing if you have not subscribed to my channel for more videos and illustrations.